Well everyone, welcome to this tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be jumping back into Maya. We've done a couple tutorials in Blender the last couple of days. And now it's time for some Maya tutorials. <laughs> so, as you can see, we are here in Maya. And today we're going to be creating place settings. So we're going to be creating, um, you know, like a, a plate and then a bowl and then uh, maybe a fork and a spoon and a knife and a napkin, you know, kind of something like that. Uh, it's not super exciting, but it's, uh, it'll do, it'll do. You know, whoever watched Babe, right? That'll do, pig. Love that movie. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see, I am here in Maya and I'm just gonna shift right click and I'm gonna add a poly cylinder. And let's go ahead and take this subdivisions down to 16. Um, and then let's go ahead and right click and go to face and select these faces and delete them. Select this face and delete that. Right click, go to object, and then hit W and D and V and then pull this up so that it snaps to that. Oops. To that. Okay. That uh, vertex, and then hold X and bring that down to the bottom. There we go. Now I'm just gonna scale this up by five. So that's pretty nice. <coughs> Pardon me. Okay. Um, now let's go shift right click and let's go to our multi-cut tool and let's hold shift we can just cut all the way around here and then cut there there okay now why I did that was because um, I want to be able to grab um, this these faces right here drag select those and then shift right click and go to extrude and just pull that down like so we'll say negative 0.5 okay now right click and go to edge double click and shift right click oh wait no I'm sorry just hit R and let's bring that out a little bit Okay, um, and now with both of those selected, we can go here to bevel, and let's take the fraction to 0.1, and the segments to 2, so that one we, alright, now that we have that, let's go to face mode, drag select everything, shift, right click, extrude, and then on the, the Z, pull, pull this out just a little bit to give that plate some thickness and then double click and go to surfaces oh sorry mesh display reverse and that will reverse all of those um, now let's go ahead and grab all of these faces make sure oh I got some hold down control when you want to deselect just grab those Shift right click, extrude, and pull that down. And then a G for extrude again, and R, and let's bring that in. And then G for extrude one more time, pull it up. Okay, that's too far. So something like that. And now we can just select all of these. I'm just double clicking on those edge rings to select them and this one as well. Shift right click, bevel edge, and add one, uh, two segments. Okay, last but not least, we need to bevel these edges here on the edge. Shift right click, bevel edge, and add two segments. And then let's just, for good measure, bring in our 
insert edge loop tool and take our multiple edge loops, make sure that's selected and let's go up to three and then let's just add some edge loops here to hold the shape. So now if I um, select my object and I hit three to smooth it, you can see that we have a nice looking plate. Uh, the only other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to hit W and then I'm going to hit D and V one more time and I'm just going to bring it down until uh, my mouse is over one of the very bottom vertices and as you can see um, that's right and then I can hit X and I can just pull that up to the top. So that's my plate. Now let's make a bowl. So shift, right click, go to uh, polysphere and let's make this 16 okay um, again I'm gonna move my manipulator tool hit D and V and pull it down to the bottom of the sphere there pull this up and hit R let's go ahead I'm going to actually switch here into my side view. I'm going to hit 4 for wireframe. And I want this bowl to be yeah, right about there. And then I'm going to right click, go to face, and I'm going to select. I could do half the bowl, half this sphere, select that much and hit delete. But I think that's still too tall. Uh, so instead I'm going to select this as well and hit delete. Right um, now, I'm going to select all the faces by just double clicking on one face, shift right click, and go to extrude. And then I'm just going to extrude that in. Um, say we, what, we did negative 0.5 last time, no, negative 0.05. Uh, we'll do negative 0.1, and then double click and go to. Mesh display, reverse. We want those normals to be facing the right way. So now we have a pretty good looking bowl. Uh, let's go ahead and just select this edge, uh, this face ring. So select one, double click, select the next one, hit R for scale, and let's just scale that up so that those are nice and flat. And then right click and double click on all of those edges. And then shift right click, bevel, and just add to. Alright, <clears throat> now let's go ahead and grab this edge ring down here and let's go back into, ooh, yeah that works. I generally don't use this view but it works for now. Um, let's go shift right click and then go to extrude edge and hit W to close that manipulator and then holding V let's go ahead and bring it down I'm looking over here in this in this area to make sure until it hits just that part right there okay now I'm gonna solo so I'm gonna isolate this selected and I'm gonna uh, grab my faces here and I'm gonna select this edge ring and delete and then double click and select this and delete um, and now I'm also going to select these edges and go um, mesh reverse just to get that right and now I'm going to go to edge select this edge ring and extrude edge and I'm just going to hit R and scale it in a little bit like that and then G, I'm just going to pull it up, and then G for more extrusion and just scale it in. Let's see, you can see that it's too, it's too much there, and that's okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to just bring it in one more time and then hit G for one more extrusion, scale it in a little bit, and then hit Shift, right click, merge edges, merge to center. So now I'm going to go to face and I'm going to select, I'm sorry, I'm going to select this ring of faces. Select one, shift, double click. 
Why you no select? Okay. And then uh, I'm going to hit shift and the greater than sign to select um, to select outside the ring and hit W and pull this down until the bottom of my bowl is no longer an issue. Um, okay, and then I'm also going to just go here, double click and bring this down kind of like this. Okay, now I can grab these edges just by double clicking on them. Shift right click, bevel edge, and two, and then this one, oh that's nice. Um, shift right click, bevel edge, and two. All right, so now we have this good looking bowl. We hit three to see what it looks like smoothed. I think that looks pretty good. Hit one to go back. Um, oh, last thing we need to do is put our manipulator down here at the bottom. So W, and then I'm just going to kind of look over here and hit D and V, and I can kind of put it there. Okay, and now I can just hold V, and I can actually just put my manipulator where I know that there's going to be some, um, some vertices. And there you go. All right, now let's go to the top and let's go shift right click, poly plane. I want a plane. I'm going to take the subdivision uh, widths and heights down to one. And then I'm going to hit W to move it over, and this is going to be our napkin. So um, I'm going to hit D and V and just move my manipulator down here to this corner. And then hit V. I want my napkin to be about as big as the plate. Okay. And then I can scale it in, something like that. All right, that looks pretty good. Now let's select um, this face. Oh, no, I'm sorry, select the edge. Now let's select the face. That'll be easier. And shift right click, extrude, pull it up by 0.1, and then I'm going to select these three edges right here and just delete them. Now if I select everything, I can, oh, and then I'm also going to select these two edges and bevel them and that's fine for now. Now if I select everything, I can shift right click and go to extrude face and just pull this down a smidgen. We'll say negative 0.05 um, and then just like we've done before, mesh display, reverse those face normals and let's insert edge loop and let's insert five edge loops. And we'll do it on the bottom and the top. Now, <coughs> pardon me, let me grab this face and I'm going to hit B for soft select and you can see that it selects down here. I'm going to hit W um, and then I'm going to open up my move tool settings and come down to dot, I'm um, double clicked on that, come down to soft select and then I believe, oh where is it? Oh, is it up here? Preserve children. Um, there's a setting that you can select where it only does the, the selected faces. Where is that? All right, I can't find it. So hit B. Never mind. We're not going to do that. Pull this down on top of everything. Just go to edge mode, and you can just kind of pull it down um, until you know kind of feels right. Okay. Now let's um, 
go and shift right click and say insert edge loop again and just reset the tool and let's go ahead and add some edge loops and what I'm looking for is I want this right here by this square or this uh, corner to be a square because then when it smooths it'll look better and now we hit three and you can see we get those nice beveled edges so now we have a napkin um, all right uh, oh I'm a little over time I'm gonna end this tutorial here uh, thank you guys so much for watching in the next tutorial we will be doing a spoon a knife um, and a fork and then uh, maybe in the tu tutorial after that we'll be rendering so thank you guys so much for watching I really appreciate any support you can give, and I will see you next time. Bye.